Right, just going to do a quick video on how to four link your SEX24, the C10 one. It's kind of a similar process for the rest of them, I'm sure, but links are a little different size. So I'm going to start with like the stuff you got to do, and then at the end we'll talk about things you might want to do, just quality of life stuff. So you can see the wheelbase is a little bit longer now, it's stretched. You might have to trim this up, but I'm sure everybody kind of already knows that. So that the first things you're going to have to do is pull off the front bumper. So it's pretty easy on the frame rails, kind of down here, right there. You're just going to pull that off because when you're done, the steering servo is going to kind of sit where the bumper used to be. And if you want it to have some travel, it'll be kind of in the way. So that's the first step. Pull this off. Next step. You're going to take apart the front suspension. So your stock truck is going to kind of look like this. These uh, lower links won't be there. It'll just be this Y link. And this is going to connect down there in the middle. So essentially all you're going to be doing is I'm going to use another link to kind of point here. But this bottom link used to be on the top. So the first step is to pull this off. The links that used to be up here, which is one of the ones I'm holding, is now going to go to the bottom. And you got spares in the spare kits here, you don't need any extra gear. Now the long links that come in there are going to replace the smaller ones that just move down. So that's these guys here. And basically they're going to have the same front and rear now. Longest on top, kind of medium on the bottom. The other thing you're going to need to do to make this work, drive shaft. So this is a stock one. It's quite short. In the bag of all your little goodies, you'll get another drive shaft. Then what I did was I kind of held it up there. You're going to have to kind of pop it out of the U-joint and put it onto the new one, but you kind of just line it up by eye, see how much you got to cut off. Be careful when you're cutting though, because if you go too fast, it'll heat up, kind of like mangle the splines. They don't really want that. And honestly, that's all there is to it. Pull the bumper, swap the upper links to the lowers, put the longer links that are in the spare parts kit on the top, make your custom drive shaft, and that's it. You will run into a little bit of an issue though, if you don't have extra parts. Down in here, you can see it like this, how one link is off to the side of the servo mount, and one the other one is on the inside right now where the Y-Link used to actually be. So, no, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but essentially one is on the left of this eyelet, the other is where the eyelet actually would be. And to make that work, since there's only one screw on this end, you put the long screw in, but not all the way. And then while the opening is still open, this link is going to slide in where the other Y link used to be. And then you can put a short screw, which you got spares for on this side. So basically you have like two screws on either side cradling that link. And so far it's worked fine. The only thing uh, you might run into is in doing that, it'll pull to one side. Like the axles kind of want to be a little bit one way. So just by hand, you can see a little bit. The frame rail on this side is a bit pulled out. So. Just kind of stretch that at Larry out there. Now travel free. But what I'm planning on doing is I got some diff covers in the mail. It seems like one of these screws is long. So what I am going to be doing eventually is taking this shorter screw out, putting the link on the outside the same way that this one is. And then you got a symmetrical truck. And uh, yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. Another thing I should mention is these links that come stock have these inserts, kind of like a bushing. And obviously the spare links don't, so... In your bag of goodies, there's these little hockey puck looking things. That's what's going on right here. It shimmed it up. But then, later today, I had a kind of a thought, like, I wonder if there's some beads... Like art type beads that would work for what I want to do. If you find a cylindrical bead, sort of this shape, can work as a perfect insert, fits right into the link there. 
And I'm just gonna put the phone down for a sec, but. Pretty much you're gonna to come up with this, right? And then that will be your bushing, cut it to length. Screw should fit right in there. You find one the right size, but like I said, you don't really have to. These are kind of sloppy, but I think it is starting to eat the plastic. So that's kind of a temporary thing. That's why I'm doing this now, but it is possible with all the bo box parts to just four link it like that. So hope it helps somebody. There's a couple tricks I was running into. Cheers.